Hi guys, today's episode is all about packing for New York. guys I hope you're having a magical day where you are as I'm having a pretty magical day where I am so I am in the process of packing up for New York busy 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 and I thought maybe I would kind of share with you how I pack and get ready for trips and just uh, share with you how I organize how I plan it out and um, give you the opportunity to maybe um, pick up some ideas if you don't already have some great packing ideas already. And uh, my cell phone keeps going off in the background. It's just crazy, just a little here today. But um, I'll just go ahead really quick and kind of just show you some things and then uh, show you how I organize, you know, like each category because I kind of pack weird. I pack like how can i say it i pack bags within bags if that makes any sense to you um i just like to be really organized when i travel that's just me but really quick i kind of lay out all of my outfits that i'm gonna wear for you know the duration of my trip and yes i bring extra stuff um i then what i do is i don't know if y'all can see like with this outfit I have a bow and this outfit I have a bow this outfit I have a bow what do y'all think about this I was looking at this purple bow because this skirt this is a maxi dress skirt I'm gonna actually wear this on the airplane um it has purple in it so I thought this purple bow would look cute and then I have a red bow because that is my I love New York Mickey shirt and then over there I have pink over here I have an outfit over here I have an outfit with a bow and over here I have another outfit and those two outfits don't have bows because I could use that bow over there for this outfit and then for that outfit over there I'm wearing a bow right now in my hair that I could use but I don't necessarily um, would wear a bow every day, but I'm bringing it just in case because you never know what kind of mood I am in. And then I got a bow to go with this dress. I packed a dress just in case I needed it. And then I have some ribbon here because I like to put my bows on a ribbon. And then I have my walking shoes. These are my Skechers. And these I strictly use for walking. I've had these Skechers now for three years. They're strictly for walking. These are not my workout shoes. I take really good care of them, but I use them from when I'm going to be doing long distance walking and that will be us in New York. So I'm also packing a pair of sandals as well. They're just in the utility room. And then over there I have like sports bras, undergarments, and uh, socks. And then usually I put like my sports bras, undergarments, and socks in my Vera Bradley bag, which will then go in my suitcase. And then over here is like where I have my uh, hot iron, my flat iron is right there with my blow dryer. And that will go into my Disney princess bags that I have and any other hair products that, you know, I have my, uh, like my bows and ribbons will go in my Minnie Mouse lunch box. And then I just have like my pins and, uh, hair accessories also in there and then back there I have my makeup and I'll touch on makeup in a little bit but back there I have my makeup and I just got my boxy charm box in I haven't opened that but I heard there's a black eyeliner in there so um, I'm anxious to open that I do get boxy charm every month if y'all are interested in me doing boxy charm uploads of when I you know get my boxy charms let me know and I will uh, video vlog that moving on so the other stuff I pack also are like these little bags so like all of these will go in my suitcase and I pack let's see I pack my self tanner which I found I'm so thankful that is my 
um, inexpensive um, facial cream that I bring with me. And then I just bring a little bottle of conditioner and shampoo. I actually label them as um, shampoo and then conditioner. And I put those in little bottles. And then a little bit of olive oil body wash. Um, when I travel, I always like to pick up new toothbrushes for my husband and I uh, for traveling. Don't ask me why. It's just something I do. And then for like my hair and stuff, uh, I bring my um, chi. I love this. What else do I bring? Oh, my Moroccan oil. My hairdresser has me putting this in my hair. I'm absolutely loving this. And then as always, this is definitely one of my favorite products because it is a, a healing drying. It doesn't dry my hair out. It actually nourishes it and it's very, very lightweight. And I have uh, thick, heavy hair, so I don't need heavy products in my hair. And then, of course, uh, Colgate Traveling Toothpaste. I pack mouthwashes. I always like to pack a pack of um, hand wipes. Um, I do pack the little travel perfumes. Thank you, Boxy Charm. I love those little travel perfumes. My Gold Bond is actually a makeup product, so it actually needs to be over there in makeup. Yes, I've been using Gold Bond since college. It's actually a makeup product. It's actually a product that I use for makeup. If you are interested in knowing what I use that for, let me know by leaving a comment down below and I'll let you know. Um, I bring a traveling hairspray with me. My favorite hairspray though is Bedhead. I have a big aerosol bottle of that. And then I bring my travel razors, not my regular razor. Nearest and Mickey Band-Aids because you never know, you might get a cut. Then I also pack cotton balls and little exfoliator pads and then in here is my Olival A uh, washing wipes for makeup remover they're pre-moistened with soap and then cotton balls and then I always bring a new shower cap with me when I travel I don't bring my my one from home in case you're wondering about these nifty little canisters here or containers I should say I want to let you know that they are from the Extra Experiment Chewing Gum. I actually saved these little um, containers for this very purpose right here. I don't have another spare right now, but if I did, I would have put my Band-Aids in it and my Nearsporin in it. But yes, if you buy gum like this in these nifty little containers, save them for this very reason. They fit and stack so nicely. And then, of course, over here, I have some bags that I plan on filling, and those over here are my little tote travelers. I talk about that in a recent shopping haul that I just did, and I don't know what I'm going to upload first, that haul or this video, but I explain that in the haul. But what else I got? Oh, and then, of course, I pack my little um, makeup band that I use when I'm doing my makeup or washing my face, and my little ribbon here to put my bows on for traveling. And what else? Oh, my uh, coach backpack. That is so, so, so old. It is when coach made leather and they made it out of um, rawhide. And I really, really miss classic coach purses. I've had this one since 1993. Yes, that's how old this is. Very old. It's a backpack, and when I'm going to New York, I usually carry a backpack on my back, and I usually bring this. And then I brought my swimsuit, just in case. i got to show you my swimsuit, because I always get these cute little comments on it when I wear it. But it's very, very retro. Very retro. And it's like a sailor swimsuit. It's very male. Let me see if I can zoom back. It is very Marilyn Monroe style. And I actually wore it to Disney last year and people were stopping me and asking me, where did you get that swimsuit? Isn't that like just, I just think that's great that, you know, there's women out there who love that kind of vintage stuff like I do. Anyway, over there is my husband's uh, vitamins. And then back there is my Minnie Mouse carry-on that I'm going to be using. And that's my husband's stuff over there. I still kind of have to go through it. And over here 
is my PJs and stuff. This is my checklist. Um, I'm using my Kiki K cute planner today and I have my checklist of everything that I need to make sure that I'm packing. And then all this stuff over here that is sealed up is my son's stuff from Amazon. Um, there's some stuff that he needed up at school and he just sent his mommy his list and his mommy went on Amazon and got everything he needed and um, it's all sealed up. I mean, seriously, I think that if Amazon could give you credit, you know, like when you go to Kroger's and you earn fuel points or when you shop at other stores, you earn points. I really think Amazon should start doing something like that because the amount that I spend on Amazon should really, they should just like give you gift cards for every X amount of like $100 you spend because the stuff that he needed up at school right now, just, you know, it's not like the cheapest stuff. And I just think Amazon should start giving out gift cards for every so much that you spend, but that's just me. Oh, you know, but yeah. So I'm going to go over to the makeup and then you can just kind of see like what makeup I pack and yeah, I got a lot of my son's schooling shirts. If you don't know where my son goes yet, if I've never said that, which I don't think I have, here is my parents' shirt. So uh, our son goes to the United States Merchant Marine Academy in New York City. It is one of the five military academies in the United States. You have the Air Force Academy, Naval Academy, Coast Guard Academy, United States Merchant Marine Academy, Kings Point, and then you have Military Academy, which is West Point, and he attends the Merchant Marine Academy. So I'm um, looking so forward to seeing him and him and his um, Navy Watts. Uh, hopefully he's, I get to see him in his Navy Whites and he's not wearing civilian clothes. I, I don't know. He does have liberty to spend the week with us um, since we're coming in town, but um, we're really excited and anxious um, to see him. Okay, guys, so really quick, we'll go ahead and I'll show you the makeup that I'm bringing. I don't bring tons of makeup only because... I don't want to be responsible for all my makeup and carrying it and not only that it's not like when I'm on vacation I'm you know spending forever in the bathroom doing my makeup and I'm sorry for the lighting if it seems kind of bad but I don't have my you know lighting kit with me because I'm in my bedroom on the floor trying to get ready to pack so I'm gonna open this boxy charm in a little bit because I want to get that black eyeliner out of there that everybody's saying that's wonderful but I for my makeup I'm packing my gold bond like I said I've been using this since college and I'm packing my favorite foundation which is my Merle Norman foundation it comes with a pad and then it comes with the foundation and this is a total uh, cover found you know foundation so and then I'm packing my three favorite palettes right now which is my peanut butter palette which I'm sure y'all have probably seen and that is right there and I am packing my peach palette which I adore and I actually saw that Too Faced is coming out with these around Christmas time they're they currently I guess don't have any and they they're, they have to make more, I guess, and they will probably be out around the holiday season based on what I read from their website. But um, this is my peach palette, and I got really lucky when I found this at my Ulta. I got it a week before Ulta was supposed to put it on the shelf. I got it when I went and got this. They happened to get some of these in, and I just showed up at the right time and got one. Then I'm going to bring my Galaxy Chic palette, which is another summer favorite of mine. Love these colors. These orange colors really pop, okay? Really pop. Keep that in mind. Um, I'm thinking about doing a summer, or excuse me, a spring summer favorites at the end of summer, like when the kids go back to school and kind of show you like what were my like favorite spring and summer items that I used during those two seasons. I Rather than doing a monthly favorites, more like a seasonal style favorite. So let me know if you would be interested in me doing that. I am thinking about doing it. If I did it, it won't be until August when the kids go back to school and we're slowly heading into fall. Then when it comes to my like blush and contouring and stuff, one of my favorite palettes is my NYX, so that is coming with me. 
And of course, on a recent shopping haul, I talked about this Makeup Revolutions Golden Sugar 2 Rose Palette. Loving this. This is great for summer. I don't know if I'll give it up in the fall because I just love it so much. And then I am also bringing the Makeup Geek blush that was in my BoxyCharm for last month. I absolutely love it. It gives you that, I don't know, just a really nice finish. And I cannot wear a lot of pink blush because of my skin complexion and my red hair. But this one works really well. And then I use this Milani um, shadow here, believe it or not, for eyebrows. I've I've had this now for like, I don't know, three years. It's barely dented because I strictly use it for my eyebrows. It's just a great shade. And then for my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, eye, eye, eyelashes, hello. I am loving this Blink. It was in one of my Boxy Charms boxes. And I'm bringing that as well. And then for as far as like department store or higher end mascara, I'm bringing my IT mascara. Love it. It's got the best brush. I love this brush for this mascara. And then my drugstore mascara, I'm bringing this one um, because I'm liking this one right now. And then my eyelash curler. And I am loving this eyeliner right here from BoxyCharm. This was in... I think this one was in the same box that my Makeup Geek was in. I can't remember. But I am going to open up this one and take out the black one that's in there. And then for my concealer, my department store favorite is Luck Home, which is right here. And then my favorite drugstore one is the um, Physique Formula. So when it's not in my budget to get this one, I will shoot over to the store and pick up this one. But I like both of these, so I'm bringing them and then... Um, I will be putting that in my makeup bag, which is right here. So, we'll just bring you down. Hello. You never see the bottom half of me. Okay, so I just kind of just tuck my palettes in there like that. They sit really nicely. And I just put them in here. Nothing big and nothing special. And then I just zip those up. And then on this side, I just shove in my mascaras, my um, eyelash curler, my blush, my eyebrow color that I use, and my two concealers. And then I also put in this one. I'm going to open up my BoxyCharm if I can. I don't know if I can get it. I don't have a knife. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to rip it open, I guess. There we go. It is open, and I want to bring... I'll go over... I'm not going to go with over this box with y'all guys, but let me know if y'all want me to do BoxyCharm unboxings with y'all. But I really want to bring this liner to try, so I'm going to bring it. It is right here. We're going to see if I like it. So I'm bringing that, and then, of course, my foundation. Oh, my gold bond need that. Lord knows I need that. This is really, this stuff is awesome and it's so inexpensive and it's, it does the exact same thing that that higher, that the other higher end um, powders do, you know, translucent clear powders do like your Laura Mercer and stuff, which I've used before. Gold Bond. Yes, ma'am. Gold Bond. Been using it since college. Mm-hmm. Works for me. Okay. So, that is that bag. It is packed. It is ready to go. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pack up this little mini mouse lunchbox. So we'll just do that really quick. This one won't take too long. So I took all my little bows that I wanna bring on this trip. And like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna use them or wear them, but I wanna have them in the event that I decide to do. So I will just put these in here. Let me see if I can bring my camera down. I just kinda of lay them in here. And then I just lay these. Let me open this so the air gets ventilated out. And I'll just stuff these in here. And then I will just seal this shut and this box is now ready to go or this container is now ready to go. Now we will move on to this little baby. 
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna pack up this bag with my flat iron that I'm going to bring. I use a Chi flat iron. Um, I've just always used that brand, like it. And then I'm going to put my blow dryer as well. I know hotels have blow dryers, but they just don't have the power that I need to dry this thick mop of hair. So I always bring mine because it's a big wattage blow dryer. And then I also have this little bag here, and that is where I put my hairspray. I put this particular drying oil for my hair, and I put this uh, Chi Silk Infusions, and then I put my little Moroccan oil that my hairdresser recommended, and I zip that up, and I put it in the bag. And then that little Minnie Mouse lunch box that I have with my other hair care stuff will get stuffed in here also. So, I have that bag ready to go. This will actually go in my suitcase. So, I have that bag and now I have my makeup bag. So, we are just moving right along, aren't we? Okay, guys. So, as far as the rest of the bags go, we're kind of almost done here. So, I have my two little travel totes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them in here to store them. So when I get to the hotel, I can open them and utilize them to put some of my personal hygiene stuff in there. Inside this little bag right here, I put my face scrub foaming wash and my um, cleansing water. I do use a toner, but I'm not bringing it. And then, of course, I'm putting my Olay body wash, my self tanner and my two bottles of shampoo and conditioner. I have them in a bag though because they're not in their original seal and I don't want them to like bust open. I'm also putting the band-aids in there and then the toothbrushes that I bought and they are going in this nice little bag here. So I've got them all tucked in there and then in this little beauty right here I have the Neurosporin and my little BoxyCharm spray perfume that I got. And then I have mouthwash and toothpaste. And I need to actually zip that up. Good thing I opened it right. Okay. And then I put my um, travel cream in my shower cap. And then up here I have, or down here I have my razor pack. And then those two packs of gum containers filled with... Um, stuff to wash my face at night and first thing in the morning when I wake up. And of course, this just tucks really nicely too. So let me show you. Get that button. And there we go. So I got all those little things all nice and packed away and they will go in my suitcase along with my clothes. So um, they will not be carry-ons. I don't carry those items on, but I will begin packing and go over that with y'all as well. Okay guys, as far as my carry-on goes in my Disney bag here, what I put in here is kind of like my snacks that my husband and I would probably like maybe eat at the airport when we're waiting for our plane or um, eat on the plane and then whatever we have we just have it in the room but I picked up some peanuts my husband is a peanut guy and then I picked up some peanut butter granola because I love peanut butter and I love granola and I picked up some peanut butter pretzels and then I picked up some California Melody um, nuts and um, cranberries. It's got, let me see if it tells you exactly what it has in here. I know it's got pistachios. Here it is. Almonds, peanuts, pistachios, raisins, cranberries, and a sunflower oil. So I picked that up for our snacks. So that is considered um, something we would carry as a carry-on. And I also carry on a little pack of wipes so we can stay sanitized. And then I keep my makeup brushes. I carry these with me in their case. Those actually come on the carry-on with me. And then I have a little pack of Beauty Junkie makeup brushes that I take too. And then my favorite Tarte foundation brush. I take that as a carry-on also. 
Then I also bought extra memory cards for my camera so I can vlog for y'all. And I picked up some extra memory cards just in case I needed them. And then I have my tablet that I take with me in my cute little Disney tablet folder. So that is all the stuff that I take as far as carry on. And then as far as like my purse goes, let me go ahead and get that. So as far as what my purse goes, or I should say my leather coach backpack, and here I just carry my wallet, my lipsticks, my phones, my chargers, and my prescription medication, my vitamins, my glasses, some chewing gum, and my glass case for my glasses here. And then some tissues, and um, I think I said chewing gum, and my headphones, you know, all those little things. So that is what I carry in this bag. And that's really about it as far as packing goes. I can take you over to show you what my suitcase currently looks like and you can see it before I close it up. So we'll go over there. It is right there and I got everything in there from the shoes to all the little mini bags. And um, good thing I did not seal that up yet because see that little white thing over there? That is my swimsuit cover and I needed to pack that. So that's all zipped up and that is ready to go. So yeah, that is how I pack for a trip. Um, let me know how you pack. I would love to, you know, know, especially if you have some tips that you can share with me or, or other ideas. And if I helped you out with a certain tip or anything, let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you liked this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a Life in Disney Mouseketeer, please feel free to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below or you can hit it at the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week. And I will see y'all when I get back from New York. Bye.